Hey guys, it's me Zara, and I'll be reading you Pip's the Nature Detective, The Disappearing Caterpillar, by Rick DiDonato, illustrated by Tracy Bishop. So I'm gonna read you the first, the, uh, on the first page in this book that says, "Let's make this mystery history." Pipsy loves everything wild, from dragonflies to oceans to tall, tall trees. She also loves solving mysteries. That's why she's a nature detective. When she and her turtle Alfred notice that her their new fr- friend Franny, the caterpillar, has vanished, Pipsy is on the case. She grabs her magnifying glass, goes to her treehouse headquarters, and begins to search for clues. This sound, this book sounds interesting. Pipsy Nature Detective. It was a beautiful morning at Pipsy's house. Pipsy wiped the sleepies from her eyes and looked at Alfred Z. Turtle. She saw something so silly, she had to rub the sleepies from her eyes again. <clears throat> Alfred had a row of stripes right down the middle of his head. Pipsy looked at him closely. Alfred, I think you're turning into a tiger. Um... Um, I think Pipsy, it just, I don't know, but. Hmm. Oh, it's a caterpillar. Alfred walked over to him, to his mirror. Slowly. That's how turtles walk. And looked up. That actually looked like a bee the first time I saw it, but. As sure as the shell on his back, there were yellow and black stripes on his head. Pipsy took out her magnifying glass. After all she was, a nature detective. It's a baby caterpillar, she said. She's smiling at me, and she has big blue eyes and the cutest dimples. So she, the, the, this is how it looks like. No, it's so cute. Hi, my name is Franny, the caterpillar said. Caterpillars don't talk, but it's a book. Can I be your friend? That would be an excellent, Pipsy replied. I love making new friends, said Alfred, uh, friends, and Alfred does too. Pipsy, Alfred, and Franny became excellent friends. For the next week, they played silly games like I'm Franny. I'm Franny, I'm Franny. You look, you look good. I'm stripes, Alfred. But most of the time, Franny just ate and ate and ate and grew bigger and bigger and bigger. In 10 days, Franny was more than 1,000, 1 million times bigger. 1,000 times bigger than that day she met Pipsy and Alfred. That's Pipsy. No, that's uh, Franny. If I grew as much as much as Franny said, Pipsy, I would be gigantic. One morning, Pipsy woke up extra early, ready to play, but Franny had vanished. Where could she be? Pipsy wondered. Alfred, we have a mystery to solve. Pipsy said, without a doubt. We'll figure this out. Let's go! Pipsy and Alfred to the rescue. Dun, 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 dun. I know we're going on a mission right now, but no flowers. This is more of a superhero thing. Pipsy and Alfred looked in dark and icky places. Ew. Who is that in here? Who will? Wow, we I love peanut butter and jelly. And sweet and sticky places. Alfred looked inside Pipsy's hat. Pipsy looked inside Alfred's shell. No Franny anywhere. Pipsy, no Franny. Pipsy climbed up to our detective treehouse to get her nature detective tools. Put on your detective cap, Alfred. It's time to hunt for clues. Franny liked the garden. 
Let's start here. There. <laughs> here we go now. Um. Hi there, owl and bear. You you don't have to hide up here. I'm reading a book up here. You may go. <laughs> There's a hiding place by the book up there. Phew. Can we start with lunch instead? We're uh, we're on a mission here. Look, Alfred. These leaves are all chewed up. I bet Freddy ate them. And you can see there's an earthworm up there. I have nose. I have a nose for clues. And these, this smells like a clue. We need to find out more about these leaves. Follow me. I have a nose for lunch. And those leaves smell delicious. Insects. Pepsi and Alfred went to the insect garden at the zoo to learn more about the leaves. They saw a plant exactly like the one in Pepsi's yard. It was called milkweed. Wow, caterpillars sure love milkweed, Pepsi said. Hey, Alfred, you can't eat that. That's our clue. Fortunately, lunchtime. And he's eating a clue. <laughs> I wonder what that green dangly thing is, Pipsy said. That's a chrysalis, said a bat with a colorful badge. Alfred read the badge. It said, ask me about bugs. We're looking for a Fred Fratty, the caterpillar. Pipsy said, can you help us? We met her two weeks ago, and last night she vanished. Poof, gone. Look for a chrysalis like this, the man said. Keep watching it and you'll find Franny. But she'll look very different. Come on, Alfred. Let's make this mystery history. Pipsy and Alpha rushed home slowly. Because that's how turtles rush. And they found a chrysalis hanging in their backyard. They checked it every day for nine days. On the tenth day, Pipsy looked at it real closely. Look at the turtle. He's in binoculars. And a monarch butterfly came flying out. That's Pipsy. She's so beautiful. Oh, I made a mistake. Sorry about that. That's Fran, not Pipsy. Huh. Pepsi looked at the butterfly's big blue eyes. Then she noticed the cute dimples. Look, Alfred, it's our Franny. We found her. Look, I can fly. Wow, this Franny. Another mystery is history. Now let's eat. Oh, he's all about food. Don't bother him. And, and they're all fun facts about butterflies up here. So I'll just read you one of them. One, in only two weeks, a baby monarch caterpillar grows several thousand times its size. Then it goes into a chrysalis and becomes a butterfly. The end. The end. So if you guys know this video, please be subscribe, like, comment, and share. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye, guys.